In this video, I'm going to do a virtual color analysis on Cheryl. Stay tuned. Cheryl's name was drawn at our uh, Zoom call on May 26, 2020. Uh, and here is a picture of Cheryl in everyday life. And here's another one of her. Uh, in, with shorter hair and here is uh, the photo we're going to be using in the color comparisons that will appear on your screen later on in this video. As always I'll be using my three virtual color analysis steps. If you're interested in finding out more details on these steps there are links below including a link to my online course and shopping my colors ultimate app which will further give you a lot more detail on what I look at in these three steps. Uh, so the first uh, step is looking at Cheryl's eye pattern and when I look at uh, Cheryl's eye pattern I see uh, first off a wheel structure. Um, she did provide a clearer one as well uh, but there is an outer uh, white ring uh, around her iris uh, that is sort of like the real wheel rim, let's say. And uh, I do notice a potential halo around uh, Cheryl's pupil. So the wheel rim, for lack of better words, uh, you know, makes me think there might be winter in her coloring. Uh, and the halo around her pupil uh, potentially could be uh, spring. I also see potentially uh, some what I call winter flowering qualities uh, just outside of that halo around her pupil. What I don't see in her eye is autumn. Uh, typically autumn would appear as a starburst or a speckling. Um, yeah and I uh, you know I don't see any summer in there. Uh, so uh, moving forward to the second step where I uh, take in a picture of Cheryl around the age of 20 post puberty look at her natural hair color that sort of thing. So as you can see her hair color uh, would be in the medium to deep value range in the post puberty years. Um, and so earlier my eye pattern hypothesis you know is sort of winter uh, potential spring in there uh, and and so uh, that hair color for a winter spring combination or even a winter would be in the deep valley range so uh, that's in alignment with what I'm seeing in Cheryl's hair color. Uh, I will also say that I don't see uh, many freckles on um, Cheryl's skin uh, which would also be in harmony with a winter palette and even a winter spring combination palette. Uh, so I'm just taking that in and some additional detail that Cheryl provided that is quite helpful is that she easily uh, flushes or blushes which is a common uh, quality if, if uh, spring is in your coloring. So uh, I'll just sort of keep that in mind as I roll through this uh, virtual analysis. Uh, so the next uh, step three is doing the color comparison. So the first step is of that step is cool versus warm. Uh, the cool summary flag is on the left here. The warm summary flag is on the right. Um, and uh, I immediately see uh, the warm is, is blending with her too much. I like the contrast of the cool on the left. Uh, I feel that's going to be adding uh, more to her sparkle. Uh, looking at some of these colors in a little bit more detail, there is cool gray on the left here, warm brown on the right, and I feel like that warm brown is distracting from Cheryl. It, it's taking... Uh, it's lacking some harmony, it's taking some focus off Cheryl's face, whereas the cool gray, I'm more inclined to focus on Cheryl and it appears most in harmony. Next uh, slide is cool pink versus warm orange. 
and that warm orange is way too much blending with her i like the contrast of the cool pink it's adding the sparkle the warm orange you're more inclined to look at the orange before uh, Cheryl's face. Also look at Cheryl's jawline. Uh, you know, the contrast uh, and the blend of the jawline uh, for the cool pink, it definitely is what we're looking for. Uh, so moving on to the next one is cool blue versus warm green. And that warm green is way out of harmony. Uh, so, uh, Definitely nothing to talk about on this slide other than the cool blue is adding sparkle. So uh, Cheryl, in my opinion, leans cool and therefore we're going to look at the cool primary color seasons. Uh, the winter primary color season is on the left here. The summer primary color season is on the right. So just to recap, winter and summer are the cool primary color seasons. Um, and uh, I immediately see the summer is way out of harmony uh, with Cheryl. It's, it's far too soft uh, for her. Uh, the uh, winter, uh, you're more inclined to look at Cheryl first and what have you, but let's look at some of the detailed colors here. So winter black is on the left here, summer gray is on the right, and uh, that summer gray is way out of harmony. The winter black is adding the sparkle in my opinion. Here is winter pink versus summer pink. So winter pink is on the left, summer pink is on the right, and wow, that summer pink is completely washing Cheryl out. Uh, so uh, I hope you can see that on your screen. Here is the purple. So winter purple is on the left, summer purple is on the right, and similar sort of thing as what we saw with the pink. That summer pink on the right is way washing Cheryl out. I like the brightness, the high intensity, uh, the deeper value and, and the coolness of the winter colors against Cheryl. So uh, we've landed just to recap at Cheryl uh, leaning uh, to uh, the winter side of things and uh, being a cool undertone uh, primarily. And now we're going to look at the uh, four summary uh, season slide. Uh, so those would be the four flows of winter. So top left is uh, true winter, top right is bright winter, bottom left is deep winter, and bottom right is cool winter. And the flags on the bottom right I have immediately ruled out because they are far too soft uh, for Cheryl's uh, coloring. Uh, I did not see autumn or summer in Cheryl's eye patterns as well. Um, they're just out of harmony. I, they're just far too soft. Um, the, I like the brightness of the top palettes against uh, Cheryl. Uh, I will also say that I don't feel like Cheryl has a smoky look to her, which also uh, plays a role in me sort of ruling out the cool summer on the bottom right. So uh, here's a closer look at uh, true winter on the left and bright winter on the right. Uh, so we're going to just look at the detailed color comparisons for these palettes. Here on the left is true winter red against a bright winter red and I immediately see that the bright winter red is adding most sparkle. The, the uh, true winter red on the left is a bit too deep for her coloring. I like the added intensity uh, added to the colors via the spring palette on the right. So this is a, a bright palette is a winter spring combination palette. So it adds in some spring qualities. Here is winter blue on the left. Uh, so true winter blue that is and bright winter blue on the right. And I feeling like that true winter blue on the left is too deep. The bright winter blue on the right is adding most spark. Also look at uh, Cheryl's jawline in these photos. The true winter is 
too deep it's it's disconnected here whereas the bright winter on the right you, it's it's providing most more of the lift you're more inclined to focus on Cheryl uh, and then one more here is true winter purple on the left and bright winter purple on the right and same sort of things as your earlier flags. I feel like the true winter is too deep. I like the added intensity on the flag of in the right. Uh, so uh, I landed at Cheryl being a bright winter, which is a winter spring combination palette. So uh, because the spring is a warm uh, undertone palette, the combination, this combination would mean her undertone is neutral cool, her primary season is uh, winter, and then she flows to spring. So she lands at bright winter, which is a uh, neutral range palette uh, in terms of undertone. The value is medium value and the intensity is high. So I hope uh, this has helped you uh, further your uh, color analysis skills. And I look forward to our next uh, Zoom chat. Have a great day. You don't have to hurry. Hurry, you don't have to. You know, say that's a Take your time. Front on your back.